Hello, everybody. My name is Julia Alvarez. I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Texas at Arlington. And today I'm going to be talking about Venefect education and bridging science and public awareness of these wind sculpted landscapes. So we can first ask ourselves, what is a Venefect? Venefects are essentially rocks shaped by really strong, um, really aggressive wind and windblown sand specifically in dry, arid regions. And so by examining Venefects, over time, we can gain insight into wind patterns of past and previous climates and how wind erosion has shaped these landscapes over time. Um, they represent one of the many vacillating geological formations found in Earth. And the goal of this study is to spread the knowledge about Venifax and their formations and in hopes of getting the youth community involved um, in terms of understanding Earth's history and the processes that go into the Earth and how the Earth became the way it is. Um, Additionally, studying Ventifex is also really cool because it provides insight into similar geological features found on other planets, such as Mars. And so while we can use it for interpreting like landscapes on Earth, we can also use it as an analog for studying planetary geology. Uh, we want to focus on the accessibility of this education and how these wind windscaped wind landscapes form. Um, through the use of Venifex. And by doing this, we're going to be producing uh, digital, digital photorealistic renderings and handheld 3D models of Californian Venifex. Uh, and this will be integrated into an interactive video presentation uh, tailored for K through 12 classrooms. And we'll be able to hopefully distribute a little bit of knowledge there. Um, Back in January 2024, our research team at the UTA Luminescence Laboratory um, took a trip down to California where we went to Garnet Hill and Silver Lake, uh, both places that have very prominent Venifex. As you can see on the photo over on the left, you can see this wind sculpted landscape um, with all like the ripples in the sand and that's the Silver Lake. So that was one of the sites we studied at. And we were able to collect five samples from each site um, meaning we have 10 samples in totals and that we're going to create 10 photorealistic digital models um, to make accessible for the public. So not only will these SDL files, which are what we use to be printing, um, be available to the public, but we'll be able to share these education, educational materials with the State Education Resource Center, um, also known as SERC, and then they'll also be featured on teaching with uh, augmented and virtual reality, which is called um, TAVR, and it's a website. So all of these materials will be posted there. And then on top of that, we additionally plan to print three, uh, 50 models, 50 of these 3D models for classrooms that lack the accessibility to do so. Um, we'll also be boosting these educational resources at the um, Geological Society of America in fall 2024, and we'll be promoting these um, different educational uh, outlets then and hopefully get the word out about Venifax. It's also interesting that this study is um, concurrently going on with another research that's using geochemistry methods to estimate long-term erosion and wind patterns. And so the research involved like looking at these erosional features aims to um, use techniques like optically simulated luminescence, such as the luminescence in luminescence laboratory that we work at, and uh, cosmogenic radionuclei dating. Uh, and they'll be able to understand how the erosion rates have influenced the geological formation over time and able to test some hypothesis that they have running, such as like erosion creates um, decrease and become independent of height uh, when over 30 degrees angle. So that's something interesting they can look at. And if you look at the graph that they've analyzed, uh, you can see that it, for the benefit we've, we're looking at, um, it seemed it did become like laterally independent uh, for hardness. And specifically, uh, one of the Venifex we're looking at, which is Venifex 7 out of 10, um, that's the one you can see in the very center. I have a photo of the original rock, and then I have a photo of the 3D original, like original rendering, and then how that came out when we printed that. So hopefully we'll be able to make these more accessible to the public and we can get the word out there about Venifex.